California is on fire again, and this time part of the blame may be on AI and ChatGPT. You may have heard talk about how AI uses so much water, but how does it do that? Why is the computer so thirsty? I thought water was bad for computers. The answer is that water is consumed at multiple steps in the process of plagiarizing the hard work of artists. But even before ChatGPT steals my juicy Tumblr Supernatural fanfic, water is consumed in manufacturing the GPUs and all the other hardware that AI servers need to function. Then, once the servers are up and running, most large data centers have water cooling towers on the roof that consume lots of water. These work by basically transferring the heat energy from the servers into the water and then letting it evaporate off. Inside the data center, the computers turn electricity into plagiarism, and generating that electricity takes water too. Most electricity is generated using steam generators. Fossil fuels are burned to heat up water and generate steam. The steam then rises and spins turbines to generate power, but then that steam needs to be cooled down again. So a lot of facilities use water to cool the water. A lot of plants use a once-through cooling system, where they pull water from a nearby lake or river, but then they release that water back after it's absorbed a lot of that heat energy. These systems have very high water withdrawal, but they end up having very little water consumption. The water that's used as steam in the loop is generally considered consumed, but it is a very small amount because it's in a closed loop, so it's recirculated. Most of the consumption comes from plants that use evaporative cooling. That's like the cooling towers on the data centers. But that's just steam generators. Big picture, how much electricity and water does AI consume, and how might that have affected the California wildfires? Well, Per request, AIs use about 10 times as much power as a regular Google search. And that's just for LLMs like ChatGPT. AIs that generate images, video, and music take way more than that. For every watt of electricity used, that generates heat that you need water to cool. That's why energy usage and water usage are so tightly correlated. And both of them are growing pretty quickly at every major tech company with Google leading the way, consistently growing their usage of water and electricity about 15 to 20 percent year over year. It's not hard to draw a line between the rise in AI and these growing numbers, but Google themselves even attribute a lot of this growth to the expansion of AI services. Bringing it back to California, we can use math and numbers to estimate that data centers in California consumed about 12.3 billion liters of water from energy production alone, so that's not counting server cooling. And this comes during a time when water scarcity is increasing, and much of the western US is in moderate and severe drought conditions. With all that dry air and soil, that's why